Howdy y'all. I just got back from town. I decided I'm going on Wednesday instead of Friday because Fridays are crazy. And I did something I normally don't do, which is buy myself some things. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm going to show you the stuff that I bought that wasn't just like groceries and household goods. And there's a couple of things in here. Well, you know, I got a couple of brassieres and stuff. I'm not really going to show those. I am, in fact, going to show these socks, though, because my friend Gina at Van Life with Gina Payne is going to get some... Uh, uh, compression socks and these are the ones that I got from Walmart they're Dr. Scholl's diabetes and circulatory socks and they work really good I get the crew size and they are good I like them and my husband also gets them and we both really like these socks they don't make marks on you oh you know just a little bit around the top but they keep my feet from swelling and really good product I'm very happy with these so I wanted to share those of course in case somebody else has swelly ankles this is the thing I'm sure there's better ones like doctor prescribed ones or the Ted hose or you know but these are good just to grab some at Walmart and they are in the men's department only you can't find them in the ladies department you can find the um, support pantyhose and knee highs and stuff but you can't find the just cotton stocking socks okay so got the socks and i found these lovely little things these look like jeans but they feel like yoga pants see they look like jeans the pockets real pockets and everything i don't think the front ones are real no but these are normally $15, and I got them on clearance for three. So, because they were such a good sale, I got two in the denim, and I got two in the black. So, yeah, three bucks. Normally 15 bucks. Very pleased with that. So, I got me some pants. The last time I got a pair of those, um, the stretchy denim pants like that. Uh, yeah, they were almost exactly like this. I wore these suckers out. I actually wore holes in them. Love them. Super comfy. Okay, what else did I get here? Oh, I got, well, here's the other pair. So, all together, I got four pair of these um, Terra and Sky brand stretchy jeans I love them and they had some in my size which I was really pleased I wear either an extra large or a 16 18 okay so I got a t-shirt lovely represent Arkansas I like that color too I like the way it looks kind of already faded I kind of like that so I got me an Arkansas t-shirt and oh yes I like this one too this was $12.96 what was this one this was $7.96 this one was $7.96 and it is a home free brand and this is just a Walmart brand let's see what it say oh it's a southern y'all see that Southern, y'all. In case you didn't know where Southern was, there you go. Southern, y'all. And this one says, Arkansas girl with a little bow on it. Isn't that cute? And on the back, Sweet Land of Liberty. And you know how I like sweet. And I love the mason jars the sparklers. Since my birthday is in July, I like to have sparklers on my birthday cake instead of candles. So yeah, I really like this. So that's another t-shirt. What else did I get here? Oh yes, third t-shirt. I really like this one. Can you tell I like this color? <laughs> I really do. I like this color. And this is a, this is a blessed girl. 
and it says, Blessed girl and has a pineapple. My grandmother loved pineapples. Every time I see pineapples, I think of her. And it says, let me read it. <clears throat> Work hard. Stay sweet. Trust God. Love deep. Blessed girl. So you know I had to get this one. Because it says, stay sweet. Yeah. So yeah, I really like those three shirts I got. And one more thing here. I got a PJ set. And all over the pants it says things about coffee. Coffee makes it possible. All kinds of coffee sayings. So that's the pants, coffee, coffee. And the shirt in pink says coffee makes everything possible. Ain't it the truth, Lord? I know y'all in my little group love your coffee. Me too. Coffee makes it possible. My husband has a shirt that says, first I drink the coffee, then I do the things. So cute. So yeah, I think that's it. My little haul. Yeah, that's everything. Wait, what's in here? Yeah, it's just more of these pants. It's just four pair of these stretchy, stretchy jean pants and then three shirts and some PJs and some socks and undergarments. So that's what I got today. I thought I'd share it with you. Whew, what a shopping trip. Iced coffee. Had to get me an iced coffee. It was Wednesday and I thought, well, you know, I can go Wednesday, middle of the day, maybe won't nobody be there. Everybody like me, all the moms, all the middle-aged women shopping for their household was there. So, but you know, it wasn't everybody that just got paid. It wasn't just mobbed like it has been the last two Fridays. And there, we're still having shortages. I hear other people saying they're getting everything that they need uh, and that the shelves are filling back up and everything, but we're still missing items. The ground beef is almost completely absent. All beef is very thin on the ground. You know, it's like if there's a pack of stew meat or something, it's just one. There's hardly any red meat available. There's plenty of chicken. And I got some chicken. I'm going to do a drunk chicken later um, where you get a can of beer and you put your whole roaster over the can of beer and you roast it in the oven and the beer cooks inside the chicken. You know, you open the beer, of course, and it kind of boils inside of the chicken and it makes a really good, sometimes it's called beer can chicken, but we call them drunk chicken. Very good. So I got all the stuff to make that. I'll be making that, I don't know, maybe next week. Oh, uh, what else? I guess that's it. I got everything done, all my running around done, and I am very, very pleased to be home. I'm going to stay home, except for checking the mail. And I checked the mail today, and I got a package, but I don't know if it's the one from you, Belinda, because it doesn't say. So I'm going to wait till Friday, make sure I don't get anything else in, and I'll do my unboxing Friday. Um, what else? I guess that's it. I was just trying to catch y'all up for my life, what I'm doing, just a little shopping trip. It was really unusual for me to buy myself some clothes like that. I know it's just a little handful of stuff, but normally I rush through the store and I absolutely do not buy anything that's not 100% necessary, but honestly, since I lost that weight, my clothes don't really fit that good and uh, I, needed some, I needed some new pants and stuff, so... And I wanted to get some more of these uh, groovy socks because although I did get one pair, uh, one pack, it was four pair, and um, I run out of them before I wash again because I like to save up all the whites and bleach them all at once. So I needed a couple more pair, and they're really nice. They they stretch real good and yet are compressive at the same time, so they don't really cut into you. But anyway, yeah, real pleased with those socks. I was hesitant to wear them at first because they made a line around my calf at the top of them. But then, and I was like, oh, this is no good, you know. 
then I started using them and wearing them like for a whole day and uh, I really noticed the difference my feet stopped swelling and yeah I'll have a little line around my, my calf but my feet are not swollen up anymore so I'm very pleased with those socks I'm trying to remember how much they cost I don't think it says on here I want to say they were like seven nine dollars a pack I think something like that anyway I'm gonna put all this junk up and uh, kind of chill out and relax and the reason I'm doing this back here is because Slim's still sleeping it's not quite time for him to get up yet and uh, I didn't want to wake him up hauling all my goodies so thanks for joining me and Hopefully, I'll be doing another video a little later this evening. I wanted to do another Shed Wars video um, because I have a really cool book that I would like to share with anybody that's interested in homesteading and gardening and all that goes with that. So, I'm going to review that book for you guys. And um, that's about all I have planned for right now. And so, I'm going to go and I'll see y'all guys on the next video. And until then... You know, I want you to stay sweet.